This is going to be section 5.4, which deals with applications of trigonometry. The intent is to um, break this particular section up into four videos. That may change as I go along, but that's the intent. First thing I want to talk about is significant digits. Um, and this is where we can have an answer that is no more accurate than the least accurate number within our calculation. So there's a couple rules when you're dealing with significant digits. Um, first rule here is that um, digits other than zero are always significant. And then the second rule, um, when is a zero significant? Well, it's when it appears between two significant digits or when it's at the right end of a decimal. And then three, when is a zero not significant? Um, when it's at the right end of a whole number um, or it's at the left end of a number. So I've got some examples here um, and it uh, goes with each rule. So that first rule where uh, the zero is between two significant digits. So if you take a look at this first example, this will, since I have zeros in between significant digits, um, then I have um, four significant digits. On the second example there, I have three significant digits. If I have zeros at the right end of the decimal, so in this case, um, since I have zeros at the right end of the zero, I'm sorry, at the right end of the decimal, um, then my zeros are considered significant, so I have four significant digits. And in this one, I have five significant digits. Um, when the zero is at the right end of the whole number, then those zeros are not significant. And so um, in the next example here, 50 gives me only one significant digit, while 67,000 gives me two significant digits. And then when zero is at the left end of a number, my zeros are not significant. So once again, in both of these situations, I only have one significant digit. Now let's look at sig digs when we're talking about um, angles. And um, each of these uh, examples deals with uh, degrees. So the first set of examples, there's only two significant digits each. Um, for the next example, notice I've got three significant digits because the zero is between two other significants. And on this one, I've got two significant digits for the degree, but 30 only has one significant digit because for the same reason that 50 only had one significant digit up here. So that would be a total then of three significant digits. For the next example, each of those examples has four significant digits. And um, then the last one, each of those examples has five significant digits. And again, if you look at this first one, um, because my zero here is between two other numbers, and that's why we count the significant digit, the zero here as a significant digit. So there's two here, two here, and only one in here.